So we have our tile uh, backsplash or surround, whatever you want to call this, wall protector uh, installed. Uh, not grouted yet, we're going to do that uh, later on. But today we're going to install our the first part of our hearth. And this is going to be kind of the, the uh, outline of the hearth. It's going to go just about like that. And what we're going to be using to build this is these landscape bricks. And this is called, I think, tumble stone. So it's all kind of uh, tumbled around and rough looking. Um, they come in all different sizes. There's these square ones and rectangles and these thicker ones and then these little blocks. They're fairly inexpensive, which is one of the things I liked about them. And uh, we're going to be using these to, to make that surround. And so uh, at a later time, I'll show you what we're doing for the middle part where the stove is going to sit. But this should be a very basic, easy, and inexpensive way to make a nice, safe hearth for a wood stove. It's actually not something that I have seen before, but something we're going to give a try here. Uh, we're also going to be doing some brick uh, or stones all the way up the wall here. So we're going to go all the way up to the top, up the side um, on that side as well as this side. So the first thing we need to do is cut out the vinyl flooring. We don't want any of that in the area where the wood stove is going to go because obviously hot coals and ashes and sparks and things like that, we don't want to get down there and melt that stuff, start on fire. So I'm going to clear all that out and get down to the concrete. So this is what the front of the hearth wall is going to look like. And then you saw what the uh, sides will look like. It's all that stone right there will be set up. So I just placed it all here just to make sure that we had enough stone. Everything worked out the way we wanted it to. Took some pictures of how it was all laid out. And so we can recreate it. And now I'm going to go back and take it all apart. And I'm just going to put in the end pieces right here and those pillars that go up the side. That will leave all this open in the front here so we can put the wood stove in. And then once the wood stove is in place, we'll come back and we'll finish the uh, front of the wall here. Now, I'm gonna be using an old sponge to just get it damp. And I'm gonna be gluing these uh, together. Um, I thought about using construction adhesive or mortar, but what it came down to is I'm just going to use the same OmniGrip um, tile adhesive. Um, this does work for concrete as well, and so I do think that this will work just fine. Um, all, it, all it needs to do is just hold these in place uh, so they don't move around or anything like that when you step on them, and I think this will work just fine. So I'll be using the tile adhesive to stick to the cement board all the way up the, the wall there and then to stick the bricks to each other. Um, and then same thing with this, uh, we're using it to stick to the floor. Uh, now, you'll notice that I, this, uh, all these blocks are going to overlap the floor. So they're going to sit a couple inches on the floor. And then there's a couple inches that's on the cement, about this much of it. And so that front half will get glued down to the uh, cement floor. And the other half will just sit on the life-proof flooring. And so that way I don't need to use any trim or anything on this side. It'll just give a nice edge right here. 
same thing with this I cut that cement board back far enough you can see so about two inches of it is going to overhang off the cement board and I'm going to use I'm going to cover this edge I already covered it with paint but I'm also going to put some a tile adhesive along the edge of that cement board so that way behind this uh, this pillar that's on each side you won't really you won't need any trim or caulk or anything going up the side but I hope um, we'll be able to just uh, have a nice edge there that you won't be able to see underneath it so that's the goal anyway and so let's go ahead and and get started I'm gluing this all together and we'll see how it looks. All right, things are coming together here finally, and uh, I, I like how it's looking so far. Uh, the pillars on each side, I think, turned out really good. Um, I didn't really anticipate the glue, the white glue uh, showing through. I was going to keep the glue lines back from the face of each brick, um, and so I actually ended up with it almost looks like white grout lines. And so we've been talking about how we can uh, how we can manage that. We may go back with some grout uh, color. Um, and a small brush and just put some real dark color on the on those glue lines or we may just leave them as they are they, it basically looks like white grout lines on them so um, it doesn't look bad we, we do like how it looks but uh, um, I as I was gluing things together I just really uh, felt like I needed to put that adhesive on the whole face of the beach brick just to make sure that those got held together really well so uh, but it's very solid it's been drying here for a couple days uh, you get kind of a sneak preview of what the front is going to look like um, you know this is not all glued together yet because I want to wait until we get the actual wood stove rolled in here in place and then I'll go ahead and finish the front of this uh, hearth wall um, and then we're gonna be doing something kind of unique on the inside so you'll have to stick around and, and check that out hopefully you guys are enjoying the wood burning stove installation uh, I'm, I'm so excited to show you guys this stove I know I'm building a lot of anticipation about it uh, and I've been kind of secretive about the the stove um, but uh, man, you guys are gonna love this thing. I'm telling you, it's cool. So uh, stick around and check out what kind of stove did we get? It is uh, something pretty cool. So thumbs up on the video, guys, if you're enjoying the series. Uh, and I'd love to have you guys stick or stick around and follow along. Subscribe to the channel, of course, if you want to follow along with this project and many others on our channel. Uh, anything DIY, do it yourself, uh, farming, gardening, um, auto repair, and anything else we might do around here, pretty much. So uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.